Okay, so today I want to talk to you about acronyms that resellers need to know. And when I say acronyms, it's kind of like abbreviations, but just initials, just letters. So like BOLO, be on the lookout, things like that. I'm going to tell you the top 15 that I think you need to know the most. So let's just get started. Let me just tell you, my name is Marion and I am a reseller, mostly on Poshmark, but I do sell on other platforms, though there are so many zero fees and now this fee and that fee that I'm not too sure, but I do send into the real real and I like that service. And I also sell on Facebook Marketplace and I had a retail store until the end of 2021. So that's why I have so much inventory. So let's just get started. I want to start in no particular order. Uh, maybe I will do my best to alphabetize it for you. Let's do that. Let's start with Bolo. Bolo is B O. L O and it's be on the lookout for. So when you are out shopping, you're going to be on the lookout for whatever it is that is in trend at the time or whatever it is that's selling best at the time, whether it's a brand or a style. And I'm going to do a video after this one talking about style and different things, you know, like bell bottoms and boho cores, not really cores, more styles. So, but for this one, so be on the lookout is the first one. So you will see a lot of videos that people do that are bolo videos. So it's what's basically selling for them. So they're looking for it. So when you see bolo, take a look and see if they have that in your area. If you see someone talking about it and how the comps are, how the comparisons are. The second one that's definitely worth mentioning that I used to see in a lot of titles but didn't know what it meant was EUC, Excellent Used Condition. So you only want to put this in your title if something, or in your description, if something is like new because then it's excellent used condition. Otherwise, it's not true. Okay. Our number three is GUC, good used condition. So with this, it would be something, of course, that's pre-loved, pre-owned, used, but is in good condition. So it's going to be gently, gently used, basically. You can put that in there too, but GUC is good used conditions. Now I've also seen in some listings that people put in GOTS, Global Organic Textile Standard, because some people are looking for that. So if you do have something that does match the Global Organic Textile Standard, Put in GOTS. I've never had to put that in, but when surveying and doing certain research, that's in a lot of things. The next one is HTF, which means hard to find. Some people put in rare, but for the people who do know the acronyms, that's what they're looking for. HTF, hard to find. These go without explanation. That's why I'm not really explaining them. Well, that global one goes with explanation. So I'll see if I can put something at the end of this video that explains that a little bit better. The next one is NIB, new in box. So if you have a pair of shoes that are new in the box, jewelry that's new in the box, a toy that's new in the box, NIB, new in box. The next one is NIP, which is new in the package. Same goes for anything really that's in the package and brand new. NWOT, new without tags. So if you have something that you know is brand new, for instance, 
I shop at one thrift store that has a whole rack of brand new things and there are 10, 20, 30 of each thing. You can tell they got them from a warehouse or an outlet and they don't have tags. That's when I'll put in new without tags. N-W-O-T. Now what I normally do is I'll put in the acronym and the explanation, new without tags or whatever, and the words, because some people have no clue what that means, but that's why I'm sharing with you. So then we have OA. Some people put this in listings. Some people just say it in videos and that's online arbitrage. And if you don't know what arbitrage is, just ask in the comments and we'll all let you know. OBO or best offer. Now, I do see it in a lot of titles, so I thought it was worth sharing. And also people who I asked, a couple of them said they put that in their titles. So then we have OOTD. OOTD. This is if you're reading an article or if you see this come up as a reseller, it's outfit of the day. So outfit of the day. And some people even have OOTD sales, I'm told. So people are actually putting that in to look for the outfit of the day. OS, one size. I think we pretty much all know this. You can also put in O slash S. So that's an easy one. What I usually put in mine is OS fits most because I can tell some of them aren't going to fit everybody. Or I can tell it isn't going to fit everybody. The next one I have is RA. That's retail arbitrage. So when you're going out to stores and purchasing clothing that's new but from retail stores at a great price. The next one is TIA. Thanks in advance. That you could also use in texts and all kinds of different things, but TIA is something that people will put in their description at the very bottom. Now, last but not least, this can go two ways. It could be TTS, as in Sam, or TTF, as in Frank. And that is basically true to size, true to fit. And a lot of people look for that. I'm just looking to see if I have any other ones. I do not. So that is all the acronyms that I think you need to know, being in the fashion reselling world at least, but also just reselling almost anything for new in box and new in package and be on the lookout for Bolo. So keep all of these in mind because they do come in handy when you're searching for things and they come in handy when you're listing things. So if you like content like this, hit that bell and that subscribe button and you'll get more like this. I try to keep them short and sweet. Sometimes they're not, sometimes they are. Uh, but the next one I'm going to do is going to be all about style. And like I said, there are going to be things like wardrobe capsule, boho, boot cut, vintage, just all different descriptions of things so that if you didn't fully know, then you may get a better sense of it. Now, I know you can look up all these things online, but I figured I'd help so you wouldn't have to. So... If you like this video, give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Share this if you think someone needs it. And I hope that you'll comment down below and add some to it so that we learn some more and I may even put them in an upcoming video. I do also want to shout out new resellers, not new resellers, but resellers who are doing YouTube videos and that I think are great. So stay tuned for that. I shouted one out already, and that was Bella the Reseller, and I'm shouting her out again. But 
I also love Dakota Flips. F-L-I-P-Z. Take a look. She does the greatest videos, down to earth like Bella. And I just love her. So I figured you may too. So shout out to Dakota Flips. Thanks so much. I don't even know if I said I was the smiley thrifter or a tire and beyond. So I'm putting it here.